Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an in-depth video on how I do my full coverage foundation routine which still makes my skin look nice and glowy and it's not cakey as well. So if you would like to see exactly all the steps that I do to create this base, I will be skipping the eyes on this video, then all you've got to do is keep on watching. The first and probably the most important step is actually skin prep. So I always make sure that my skin is nice and cleansed. I will leave a list of my favorite cleansers in the info box below and then also to exfoliate, especially when we're doing full glam. So here is this nip and fab exfoliator, which I love using. Next up, we're gonna go on to moisturizer and here I'm using the Glam Glow Glow Starter. This is perfect for me because it's kind of like a primer, a moisturizer and an illuminator all in one. So for me, I don't have to use use three separate products I can just use this one and I can be good to go especially when we want like a full coverage foundation and a foundation routine you don't want to put too many products onto your skin so this is nice and lightweight and it still does such a good job at moisturizing and like prepping and priming the skin and here you can see it's giving me a beautiful glow the second step is to work with all of our liquids and creams you don't want to mix powders and creams together so here I'm taking my urban decay all-nighter uh, foundation with a damp beauty blender and this is my favorite tool for foundation application and I'm taking one pump and putting this all onto my face. I always, always, always work in very, very thin layers because the last thing you want is to have loads of product build up on your skin because you want your skin to still look and feel like skin, especially for me anyways. I love my skin to feel like it's actually breathing from within. I don't like to make it feel really heavy and clogged up. So I always make sure that it's a nice thin layer and I'm not forgetting my ears. And then also like the sides of my nose. So I make sure that the foundation is everywhere and I try not to concentrate it underneath my eyes because we do go in with some concealer and highlighting and all that. So I'm just making sure everything is nice and blended. And here you can see that my skin's still got a really nice glow to it. So obviously the under eyes are not looking good. <laughs> so I'm taking my anti-age eye rewind concealer from Maybelline and I'm actually bouncing the beauty blender onto it and then putting it underneath my eyes. I've done this quite a few times and I've realized that I just love the outcome of the way that this looks. It's very, 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 again, lightweight under my eyes, but it still gives me coverage because this concealer is very thin and lightweight, but it is still like a very, very medium to full coverage concealer. So by doing it this way, I'm putting like less product on my skin and again, helping with the skin to not look too cakey. I'm also putting it a little bit on my forehead down the bridge of my nose and also a tiny bit on my chin and around my mouth. And this is just gonna add light to those areas and give dimension to the face, especially when we go in with contour. On the bigger rounder end of my beauty blender, I'm actually taking my Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray and I'm basically spraying that onto that round end. And you're probably thinking, what is she doing? But I'm actually gonna press this product into my skin. And this setting spray is a really nice glowy setting spray. Nothing too oily like the Tarcha one, but it just gives you a really nice kind of extra glow to the skin. And this is gonna help everything kind of melt and blend into place. For cream contour, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Contour Kit? contour stick in the shade fawn and I'm drawing on lines in all the areas that I want to add shadow and basically contour. These are the usual areas that I love contouring and I've kind of added um, a new line kind of like in between where my ear and jaw is and I love doing that because it really helps like kind of slim down the face if you know what I mean. And here I'm just applying a little bit of nose contour directly from the contour stick as well. Then once we've got all of that in place, I am blending all of this away. The key to blending out a cream contour is take your time because it's not gonna be easy to blend all the lines out. And also try not to use too much pressure onto your skin because you're gonna move around all that base work that you've got on underneath. So just take your time and go in with a very light hand and make sure all of those lines are blended in really nicely into the skin. The part that I have to be really careful on um, is actually my nose contour because I feel like 
every time every single time I put something on my nose um, and I try to blend it away I feel like just everything comes off my nose so I always be um, very very careful when I'm doing this but once I have roughly blended everything out I do go back in with the round end from my beauty blender just to make sure everything is nice and seamless and I do go over all the other areas where I've got my contour um, kind of blended out and this is just going to make sure that everything is really kind of melted into the skin and that there are no harsh lines between any of the products and this is what my skin looks like afterwards. The third step is to set all of the cream areas. So first I'm taking my Kat Von D Locket setting powder and I'm taking a decent amount of that onto my brush and then I'm also um, swiveling that brush onto the lid because I don't want too much product on there but I'm slightly, slightly, slightly baking underneath my eyes. I personally am not the biggest fan of like full-on baking because it makes my under eyes look really dry but I don't mind putting a really thin layer of this underneath my eyes. So that's what I'm doing and then I'm taking a really big fluffy powder brush and swiveling into to the lid as well with some product and just dusting that all over our skin because this is going to slightly set our skin so that it's ready for us to put more powders on top and things are going to blend so much better. I'm just brushing away the under eye bake, if you want to call it. I really wouldn't call it that because it was just a really small amount. Uh, but I'm just brushing everything away and now our skin is nice and set. Ready for all of the other powders on top. So I'm first taking my Hoola bronzer and I'm further setting the areas and intensifying the areas where we contoured. And I personally love doing this. I love a good contour and highlight. So you can actually skip any of the steps that you don't do but this is personally just how I do my full coverage foundation routine so I'm just going over all of the areas where we applied the cream contour and this is like I said just going to intensify those areas and it's going to set those areas in place as well even more so than what we did with the um, loose powder so um, I'm also going over my nose and this is genuinely how I do the quickest nose contour of my life I find that the brush that comes with Hoola bronzer is just fab. Um, it wouldn't be a tutorial of mine without me dropping something um, but I'm just making sure again everything is blended and also blended into the hairline as well and so that my nose contour isn't looking too harsh I'm just going over with my damp beauty blender. Then taking this shade from this Maybelline cheek palette I am applying that to my cheeks as a flush of colour something very not so like dramatic, but just enough to make my cheeks look nice and rosy. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna go in with powder highlight. I'm taking this shade here from the NYX Strobe of Genius palette. And I'm taking some of that on my brush and then also spraying that brush with the Glow Setter setting spray. And this is basically gonna create a really creamy, intense mixture of that highlight. So as you can see here, I've kept the whole clip of this in and you can just kind of see how beautiful and extra glowy my highlight looks <laughs> and that is because of the setting spray this is going to just add an extra kind of creamy really kind of highlighted look to our highlighter um so i'm doing the same thing on the other eye and if you don't like your highlight as intense in this you can skip the um, setting spray but I personally love a good blinging highlight so that's why I um, love adding that especially to amp up my highlight and I do this a lot for like evenings maybe not so much during the day but I love amping it up for like an evening full-on glam look and then the other places that I like to highlight uh, down the bridge of my nose and also a little bit on my cupid's bow I did go slightly overboard with this I was just having so much fun just glowing my face up uh, but the last thing to do for our base is the setting spray. We want to make sure that our face is nice and set and again I'm using the Glam Glow Glow Setter and just spraying that all over my face. This actually smells like sweets and besides the fact that it smells so good the actual spray is such a nice kind of like mist that it adds onto your skin. I really really like it um, and this you guys is exactly how I do my full coverage foundation base routine including my full contour and highlight. I really hope you guys enjoyed this more in-depth way of how I do my base. Um, I would love to do more of these for like different seasons so you guys can keep up to date with my routine so let me know if you would like to see that but thank you so much for joining me on this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!